I'm not going to answer that question yet. Okay. <laughs> I want to pivot just a little bit. Yep. Um, because I think that to go to your other question, which was, um, how do these environments set you up for a fall? Right. I think that it, it, that's a little different than how trauma is working itself out. It's how does it set you up for a fall? And I think in those two communities, it's different mm -hmm. the way I split. And they're both pivot on identity. So like you were just saying, the let's just say not closed Christian community group. I'm going to make that my left hand side for now. <laughs> that group, the problem is that you're told you make your own identity, which is an impossibility. It runs against everything you know. Who you are is a person who functions in relationship to other people uh, all of the time. And even when you're alone, you know that you're alone because you're not with other people. It's always defined by your role within the society, the relationships that you have in the society, who you care for, in what ways you care for them, and what you're building. You can't have an identity in isolation. Mm -hmm. And never mind in isolation from other people, currently our culture is trying to say you can have an identity in isolation from your own body. So we're going to divide even further. It's first, well, you don't have to be connected to your culture. Then you don't have to be connected to your local community. Then you don't have to be connected to the family you're born into. And now it's you don't have to be connected to the body that you're in. How on earth is any person, never mind a child, supposed to create an identity out of that? You can't. So what it does is create massive anxiety, massive depression, because if you don't have an identity, then it's not just who am I? It's what, where am I going? What am I doing? What is my purpose? And if you can't be heading towards something that you think is valuable and actively achieving things that bring you further down that path, you will not be happy. You, there won't be any mm -hmm. satisfaction. There won't be any meaning. You, nihilism is the only place you can go to without a clear identity and every culture has always had some kind of a structure and a norm and a system and a society which told you who you were what you were doing where you're going and how to do that well and who was doing it poorly and there were consequences for people who did it poorly because everybody knew that if you do it poorly everything gets worse and nobody's happy about it so we all work together to kind of shuffle you into line and say let's do the good thing together so we can all have happy meaningful fulfilling lives and our society has just decided to chuck the whole bag and say we're going to go for uber gnosticism we are going to divorce our identity from everything else and we're going to start with the youngest people because they do start more blank they do start mm -hmm. it's not a total blank slate but they're much more impressionable they're not a mother yet. They're not a father yet. They're not a, you know, artist. They're just little. So you can tell them, okay, now make up your mind. What are you? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. If you've ever raised a child, it's like, are you really going to do this to children? Have you met a child? <laughs> yes. So I think fundamentally the way that we're going crazy in the non-closed communities is we're, we're giving more and more autonomy thinking if you have more autonomy, then you will have more control, then you will be happier because you have more control. But autonomy is never purely free floating like that. You need a central pivot point. You still need a place that you're headed or a, a central node like Peugeot likes to talk about. You need a center to the system. Otherwise, even your rebellion isn't rebellion. Nothing has any coherence because you have no orienting points. So um, I lost my train of thought. But that's my thought. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I like that. That might make the, you know, now when I'm doing these conversations, I'm thinking, ooh, what am I going to use for the teaser? So that, that's a candidate <laughs> for the teaser. That was good. Ooh, have a good. <laughs>